this little gym. And um, I know it's been a while to do this, but um, you see this? This is Duke Kaboom and he's from Toy Story 4. And he's voiced by Keanu Reeves and I just did you know, a review of John Wick 3, spoiler review, and he, vo and he not a lot of voices, he plays John Wick, it's because he voices him, he doesn't really play him. Um, and I want to apologise, it was quite a while until I said, you know, about three days ago, um, about doing the review, I just completely forgot. But here we are, I've got quite a lot to say about it, in a non-spoiler fashion, I might do a spoiler review for it. Who knows? Um, I can't make any promises. Um, so, the it's my, it's my least favourite Toy Story film. But I thought the first act was the best first act of any of the Toy Story films. To me, the middle was, you know, probably equally as great as... The, all the middles in all the Toy Story films are equally as great. But it was a bit like... It was, you know, it's hard to explain really. It's a, it was a bit like... I mean, when he bumps into Bo Peep, it's a bit like... Really, that actually happens, you know. What's what's the chances of that happening? It's a bit weird, you know. That there's not really much chance of that, that actually happening, and you know the fact that there is, you know, I think it's a bit convenient that that actually happened. But um, if you if you kind of get what I mean, and yeah, the third act, I didn't like the way it ended, and that's why it's my least favorite part of the film, the third act. But I don't want to, you know, go into detail obviously in this video. I thought the new characters like Duke could be was really good were really good in the film, you know, the fact that they were used perfectly. Um the other side characters like Rex and the Aliens and Mr. Mr. Potato Head, Slinky and Ham, all of them, they weren't really in it very much. And um they all had their little I guess time to shine. Not all of them but most of them. And just quite a few of them were just you know, didn't even say anything I don't think it's just a bit unfair I felt like any of the ones they had their spotlight a bit more and were used perfectly this one they weren't used enough um I think the story was better than I thought it would be you know had a lot of um tips and turns if that's if, if that is the same isn't it I don't know if it is the same but it had a lot of um it had a lot of things happening but I don't feel like it was overcrowded with storylines um I only had about three storylines, but they didn't really feel like overcrowded, but they all kind of were to do with the same thing, sort of. I didn't know about three storylines, or two, two. I can't remember when I watched it, because, you know, it's just... I've been doing a lot of other stuff recently, like Spyro, and been watching a lot of YouTube, so, you know, I haven't really been thinking about Toy Story a lot recently, Toy Story 4, that is. So, I think it had, like, three storylines, but I think they were all used really, really well and perfectly. It's just, what well, near perfectly, but it's just, wasn't as good as the Toy Story films, in my opinion. You know, the other ones are, like, nine out of ten. These, this, this, this one, I'd give eight out of ten. Um, but that's pretty much it for the review. Uh, I went quite in depth of what I was meaning in this video, because, you know, because one of the sort of movies that I was going to do that for, I guess. But I might do a spoiler review, who knows. But until then, I'm going to be watching yesterday, not today, but tomorrow. So I might do a review for that then. Until then, thank you for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys soon. Ciao.